Hello Aries and welcome back to Appalachian Tarot. If this is your first time joining us, I am very glad that you are here for this week's reading. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. I begin all of these readings with a Seasons of the Witch Oracle card. I'm using the Beltane deck. So Aries, I hope you've had a really wonderful week. I hope that the universe has been kind to you, and I hope, more importantly, that you've been kind to yourself. Sometimes we don't take time to take care of us, and that's what we got to do in these troubled times. Take care of each other, and that begins by taking care of ourselves. So I want to see what the universe has to say to you, so I'm just going to shuffle until I'm told not to shuffle anymore. In the meantime, I'd like for you to do me a favor and uh, click that like and subscribe button so that you never miss an episode. And of course, share this reading with a friend. Um, this is a collective reading for the sign of Aries. So take what resonates, leave the rest. It's just for somebody else and you don't want to confuse yourself. So I always tell you to trust your own intuition. You will know when the universe is speaking to you through me and through the cards. And, oh, here we go. All right. So yeah, just trust your intuition. We'll wrap that part up and get right into the reading, which is you get cow. May the embrace of all that is nurturing you awaken in all that you are becoming. All right. Feels like a very powerful card, Aries. It seems like someone might be stepping into their own power. Let's go ahead and read from the book because not everyone is familiar with the Seasons of the Witch. So uh, we'll go ahead and open to Cow. Your keyword, Aries, is nurturing. Cows represent all things related to a happy home, stability, nourishment, and the quote-unquote mother archetype. A cow's size may seem overwhelming, but you cannot help but feel a sense of comfort when close by these gentle spirits. Like the love of a mother, you should seek out cow spirit when you feel that you need loving but tough push. Cow encourages you to do all you can to build a strong foundation for your goals. Your situation requires you to return to the basics of nurturing and support before moving forward. Do you have the basic requirements for what you are seeking? If you are starting a business or buying a home, do you know what paperwork needs to be filled or what supplies you may need? If you are starting a new job, do you have all the skills needed to be considered qualified? Cal does not invite criticism and neither should you. You are simply being guided to examine whether or not you have all that you need to feel comfortable and safe. Sometimes you have to return to the beginning to understand where you're going. Though be warned, if you continue to walk this path, as it is, you may be in danger of building on a cracked foundation. Left unrepaired, you may find yourself in greater trouble further down the road. Okay, Aries, there is something in this world, in this life, in your in your life that needs re-examining. There is something you need to take a second look at and just make sure everything is, is well. I get the feeling, I mean, th this this card, and we'll, we'll go to the tarot in a minute and that's going to clarify a lot of this, but go ahead and meditate on what that might be while I give the other option that, that, that this could be about. Which to me, okay, there is the checking in on things, making sure the foundation's good, making sure everything's fine. Um, I do get the feeling that if you're having to check in on something like that, it's probably something relatively new in your life. Uh, I do want to say that. It's probably not something that um, you have had in your life for a long time. So if you've been with your, with your partner for, you know, 10 years, that might not be what this is about. But if you've been with your partner for, I don't know, 10 minutes or <laughs> or even 10 months, um, you might want to pay attention. Same with a job, same with anything that you're thinking about. The other thing I want to say is this cow card does feel to me like it could be inviting you in to begin something new. 
and it says it's wanting you to just check in and make sure you have everything you need before you do so it could be a card of checking in on something that's already existing or it could be a card of preparation for something that is yet to begin but we're going to go ahead and get into the tarot to find out um, so go ahead and just keep meditating on that. Whatever the situation that came to your mind first when I read that, that's probably what the universe wants to talk to you about. But of course, you're going to know that better than I am because I'm not in your head. Um, at least not yet. The way AI is going, I have a feeling somebody's going to be in all our heads before long. But that day has not come yet. So I want you to go ahead and meditate on what it is that you believe the universe trying to say to you through the spirit of the cow. Cows are actually one of my favorite animals I have. Uh, maybe I'll show you sometime. A little stuffed cow I found at a thrift store that sits in my kitchen and her name is Molly Moo. So when I think of cows I think of Molly Moo. Who do you think of when you think of <laughs> not who gosh if you if, if I if you watch BBC EastEnders, it's a British soap opera, EastEnders. <laughs> There's a really famous uh, scene uh, between two iconic female characters where they argue with one another, and one of them calls the other a cow. The other one says the B word. I won't repeat that. I'm trying to keep this tarot channel family friendly. Although I, I will drop an F-bomb every now and then, so... Alright, that's enough of me talking. You just keep meditating. I don't know when it wants me to stop shuffling, but I would like to know what the universe wants to say to Aries. What are they preparing for? What are they taking a second look at? Oh, here we go. Okay. So these cards fell out, and there's three of them here. It's telling me to take all of them like this. I get the feeling, Aries, that some of you are in a relationship that's kind of new, and I think it's romantic. but you don't feel like you're getting your needs met or you feel like you've been treated unfairly and you're thinking of walking away. So you got the lovers reversed. You have justice reversed. And then you have the four of cups upright. I mean, the, the meaning is straightforward as far as I'm concerned. I, I, I don't see another way to read this. For these three cards to fall out in that order, what I am seeing is here, you have a relationship with someone who is possibly someone you're very much in love with. Um, only you can say if this is your soulmate or your twin flame or whatever. Um, I'm not going to get into that. But it is somebody that you love very much and that the universe has put in your path for a reason. With this being Major Arcana is the only reason I would bring that up. This is really, I mean, the lovers is, 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 as far as I'm, it's twin flame energy. But they haven't been treating you right or you feel as though you're not getting your needs met. Because these cards are all, I'm reading this as you in the now. Like, this is you, the querent, the viewer. And then, of course, the Four of Cups is, is thinking... It's contemplation it's um, but it's also it's not seeing I mean look all he, all he can focus on is what is lost he can't see what is still being offered and with the universe sitting here telling you with cow that maybe you need to re-examine something I think that you're kind of in a place where you're doing that already I think this is a relationship you're just not sure if it's meant to be. Maybe there's too much drama. Although I really think it's just not getting your needs met with justice reversed and, and um, possibly something like an infidelity or something happened. So it's possible that there was some sort of betrayal of trust. But for me, this is, this is really reading more 
as just you not getting your needs met. You feel like you're not being treated fairly. Let's just keep going here. Um, but yeah, this is big, big relationship energy right here. I'm just going to lay them like that. Okay, what's blocking you? Knight of Wands. Oh, golly. Okay. Um, you really love this person. They really love you. There's a lot of passion, whether that passion is romance or whether that passion is... I mean, this is like a love-hate relationship. Um, this is somebody also who you really don't feel like you can trust. Um, there's... I, 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 now I'm starting to kind of see the possible affair that's happened here. Um, Kate Middleton, is that you? Are you an Aries? Is she an Aries? Anyway, we're not going to go down that rabbit hole in this reading, but look, I, I see something. Like, there's there's a lot of passion here. Um, it is it is very much a love-hate relationship. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, a pop culture reference that, that, that everyone would understand. The one that came to mind was in the second season of Bridgerton, where Jonathan Bailey and, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't remember the actress's name. I think her character's name is Kate Sharma. And then I can't remember the other character's name, but his name, the actor's name is Jonathan Bailey. Um, they have this love-hate relationship. I mean, it's like they can't stand the side of each other except when they're naked. And um, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of getting that. Like, there's there's a lot of chemistry here, but, but ooh, um, y'all... Y'all make each other as miserable as you make each other happy. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's what I'm getting here, Aries. Um, this could be, again, I mean, I, no, I'm sorry. That's the only reading that's coming through here. Um, I think this is quite possibly for someone very specific. Um, but uh, <laughs> stay tuned. Let's see how the rest of the reading goes. Don't don't bail on me just yet, but um, I, I'm getting oof, uh, passion, but drama. Let's see what's in your immediate past. Oh, okay. Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, you may not be talking to this person right now. You may not have been speaking to this person for some time. Um, you may have broken up with this person, in fact. Um, or this person has broken up with you. Uh, d yeah, this is, I mean, this is, this is, this <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't see any other way to read this. Like, I, I, the, the Knight of Wands here blocking you, that is a card of passion, of movement, of action. Um, uh, Divinely Canadian Tarot, which is a channel I suggest you all check out. I, I really enjoy her readings. Always uh, calls the Knight of Wands the Rico Suave card. Um, it's like the town bicycle, she says. I mean, I won't, you know, everybody gets a ride. Um, since she said that, I can't stop thinking about that, and that's where that is coming from. But, I mean, it, it is also the card of passion and action, and passion can include anger. Um, and I'm going to say violence, but I don't necessarily mean physical violence. It could be that, but and if it is, then this reading is over for you, and you need to not be in that relationship. But um, when, this is it. That's the end. Uh, but for most of you, when I say violence, I just mean, like... It's, it's not a great word to use for what I'm trying to articulate, but, like, just that, uh, okay, in Avenue Q, uh, Christmas Eve, the character sings, The more you love someone, the more you want to kill them. That's what I'm seeing here. Like, you love this person so much, <laughs> the more... Or <laughs> you're just ready to kill them because they're able to, to get under your skin in like such a way that no one else can. And I don't see that you're in communication with them right now. You may be, but there's it's strained. Like there's definitely in your recent past, uh, there have been some issues between the two of you. Let's just keep going. What's in your future? Nothing changes. Okay. Uh, you got the five of pentacles reversed. 
The Five of Pentacles to me is the soulmate card. That is the card that I intuitively always associate with soulmates. I think it's because they are walking through hell together. What they are, while they are walking through hell together, though, they don't look up to see that there is a church they could seek sanctuary in. That has always been the contradiction of the Five of Pentacles to me, is it is willful ignorance. Um, or maybe not willful ignorance, but you are screwing yourself over by not looking up to take stock. And I think that with the uh, Six of Cups right here, you know, in your current position, that the universe is, is kind of indicating that you're at risk of throwing something really good away just because you're not willing to... to reevaluate and, and 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 the cow card is telling you you know look at the foundations here um it could be aries that you are at least part of the problem here that you feel like you're not getting your needs met but you're maybe not considering the other perspective either um, if nothing if nothing changes and you don't sort of reevaluate as the cow card is asking you to do, it doesn't look like anything in your if you don't change course, nothing's going to change Aries. Like that's just it. Like that's I mean, you have to be the one to change here. I'm getting. Um because that's the only way the situation is going to improve. You may decide you don't want it to improve. And that's fine. You have free will. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. You are conscious of the Four of Swords. Okay, so this is your conscious. This is what we understand. Yeah, you needed some space. I, I really get the feeling that you have taken some space from this person. Um, that you have... Um, you know, they may have been treating you badly. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have your own fault, but I, I do genuinely get the feeling that this is a two-way street here, that there, there's enough blame to go around. Aries, I, I, I'm getting the feeling that you understood that you needed some space, you needed some time, and you've taken that time. Um, I think the universe might be encouraging you to take a little bit more time. Um, you may not have started taking time yet, but the universe wants you to. It wants you to reevaluate. It wants you to check in and see if you have everything you need to make this relationship succeed. If you have everything that you need to make your circumstances, uh, it, 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 to, to be the best version of you in this relationship. With the two of swords reverse, or two of, two of cups reverse, I'm sorry, in your immediate past, I am getting the feeling that you have already started this process. So I'm not sure why the universe is telling you to reevaluate unless it's telling you just to keep doing that. What are you not conscious of? This is your subconscious, and it's the Ten of Pentacles. This is the card of legacy. This is the card of, of leaving something behind. Um generational wealth Aries I think this person is your I, I don't I, I don't want to tell you that because I want you to make your own decisions here okay you know this situation better than I do but what I am seeing here is that this this union whatever it is between you and this person it's destined the universe wants it I'm really getting that this is the person you're meant to be with because it's Ten of Pentacles. And, I, and, and what's more is I think you know that. I think you know that. I think you know that this person is the one you are meant to be with. But whatever has happened, they've hurt you, you've hurt them. I think there's a bit of both happening here. Golly, I'm not, I'm not, it's just so complicated. Whatever the situation is, it's just so complicated. There are so many reasons why. It's like your star-crossed lovers. That's it. That's it. Your star-crossed lovers. You're like Romeo and Juliet or uh, Jack and Rose or, um, I don't know, Brittany and Justin? No, I don't think we're supposed to cheer for them anymore. But, um... Who, Justin and Selena? I don't know. I don't know enough celebrity gossip. Anyway, Romeo and Juliet, it works. Um, look, 
Oof. You gotta decide if you're gonna fight for this love or not. I don't know if you want to. Let's see what your control of the situation is. Page of Pentacles reverse. Okay, yeah, first of all, you are um, not doing the work you're supposed to be doing on yourself. You were taking this beat to work on you. You took this time, and you haven't been doing it. You have been refusing to learn from your mistakes. I'm beginning to wonder if that cow card's wanting you to take a look at yourself and to realize that, hey, hello, what is it? How does it go? Hey, hi, I'm the problem, it's me at T. Yeah, I mean, I, I, Aries, I, I'm getting the feeling the universe is, is asking you to look inward and to see what you can do to make this a success. It seems like you want it to be a success with the Ten of Pentacles in your subconscious. But I think you are you are understanding that there are things you need to work on. It could be that money is coming between the two of you. Um, that, that money could be something that y'all need to work on. Um, because I've got Pentacles here, if nothing changes, and that could be a card of financial destitution, although I don't necessarily see that this way at all. Um, not in this reading. This is a love reading. But, you know, here in your subconscious, building a foundation, this person could want more than you. This this person could be someone who has big dreams and you are very content living in your small town or vice versa. Um, it could also be that this you or them are very good with money and the other isn't. And that's becoming a problem with this... Page of Pentacles indicating to me that you're the one that is not good with money. But, um, you know, the Page of Pentacles reversed is also a card of greediness and laziness. And so I'm wondering if there's a lot of, you know, a lot of blame to go around and your partner's not getting their needs met either, it seems. Let's go ahead and see what the outside influences on this situation are. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, hmm... There could be, it could be that one of you is, is upset that the other works too much. I, I'm getting that there are money issues that are between you all, though. I really think that that's what's going on here. I think, Aries, that there are some money issues. Um, that's obviously not going to be true for all of you. You're going to be able to interpret this uh, your own way. So please, you know, but, but for some of you... Your spending habits are at the root of what this problem is. I really have that feeling. All right. Your hopes and fears. Yeah, you you, you want to try again um, with the Eight of Cups reverse, but you're scared. You're, you're afraid nothing's going to change. Again, there's there's blame to go around here. I think you your spending problems might be part of it or your inability to give what the other person needs, but you're also not getting what you need. You know, you're kind of tired of, I don't know, you're tired of communicating possibly what you need or of setting a boundary that is not being respected. I get the feeling that, you know, you may be the, the, the one who spends all the money, but that you're also the one who set a boundary in this relationship that was crossed. Again, that kind of came over over here where it was like somebody's hurt you. You've, you've been treated unfairly. Like I said, I think there's that this is, this is a mutual thing. I definitely think that you had a boundary that was crossed or you have been disrespected. I, I'm getting the feeling that like you are, and you are the one who is, has, has, has taken the break. And, um, you know, I'm on side with Ross here. You guys were on a break, um, and you are on a break, it seems. Um, if not, I think the universe might be telling you you should be, but I think you might already be. The way this is reading, all right, what's the most likely outcome here? If King of Wands reverse, okay. Look, this is the near future. Um, oh, it's going to get on the incense. We're just going to leave it here then. Um... Aries, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> I don't see this situation improving anytime 
soon. I see you still having to take that self-imposed beat. Like, you're going to have to take a, a while to, to sort of decide what it is you want. Um, but I do, I'm getting, I mean, you've got the lovers here reversed, of course. You've got five of pentacles here reversed, of course. You have the two of cups here reversed, of course. But then you have the ten of pentacles here. And all of those cards are like, to me, they have heavy soulmate energy. And usually reverse that kind of negates the soulmate energy and it's like oh this is somebody that you you should get away from but i'm not getting that here i'm really not i think that this person is somebody that you were destined to be with and i think now you're in the de i think now you have to decide is this person your soulmate? what's on the soulmate you know what's on the bottom of the deck ten of wands yeah yeah. paradoxically a card of completion but also hard work it could be that this relationship is just worth fighting for but god it's going to be a struggle um i am getting heavy star cross lovers energy here um i i feel like there's just so many there are so many obstacles y'all are going to have to overcome some of them imposed by yourselves some of them imposed by the outside world all right, um, Aries, I usually end these readings with an Oracle of Delphi card, but the universe is telling me that I should use the Roast Iconic Oracle. Um, and uh, <laughs> the Roast Iconic Oracle is uh, very sarcastic. It's uh, very, very uh, blunt. And uh, this just feels like it requires uh, some blunt advice from the universe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull a card and see what the universe wants to end this reading on for you. Empath. Okay. Let me see if I can find it in the book. Um, just because I know, not, you know, I haven't even used these cards very much. I just bought them recently. Um, but the problem with the book is, of course, things are not in alphabetical order, which is dumb, but here we are. Empath. Are you an empath? Or are you a hypervigilant because of all the trauma you endured? Time to find a balance for those hyperextended emotions. Give your nervous system a break right now. Okay, there we go. The Four of Swords. Yeah, I... You need a break. You're you're in desperate need of, you know, well, just some time away with the Eight of Cups, the Four of Swords. You can do so by clearing out those emotions that are not yours to process. Say it with me. I release all that is not mine to carry and return all that which is not my responsibility to hold. I'm going to say that again because I, I, I butchered that. I release all that is not mine to carry and return all that which is not my responsibility to hold. All that which is not my responsibility to hold. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry that my, my reading was bad there, but I think that the, the whole the whole empath card, I mean, that, that just sums up the reading beautifully here, which is I think that you are somebody who has a lot of emotions and you feel like your needs are not being met, and this person is somebody who has a lot of trauma, and they feel like you're not understanding that, and that may be why they're shut off, and that may be why you two aren't communicating, or that may be where this misunderstanding here that we started with, with the lovers reversed, justice reversed, and the four of cups is, is that y'all are just built differently and you're built to hurt each other because you you are very different folks and like you need to talk about your feelings all the time um and and this person is somebody who bottles everything up it could be vice versa but i get the feeling that you're the empath here and that this other person is just emotionally stunted um by your standards that doesn't mean they're not processing it in their own way it's just a different form of of communication i really do get the feeling that you know there are things that this person doesn't want to talk about that you keep insisting on talking about, and that could be the boundary that is uh, being crossed. Um, or there's things that you don't want to talk about. I think that that's it. I think there might be things you don't want to talk about that your boundary is being crossed. Because remember, I, I think you're the one with the boundary being crossed here. 
I think you're the one that feels like, you know, you're not having your needs met. I do think that for some of you, your money is an issue in the relationship. But at the end of the day, what I'm seeing here is that y'all are just very, very different. You have a lot of obstacles to overcome, but the universe is asking you to really consider whether it's worth it or not, because it very well may be. This Ten of Pentacles card, in, in conjunction with the lovers here, and with the Five of Pentacles here, and the Two of Cups here, I mean, all of these are heavy soulmate energy here. So I'm kind of thinking that this is a relationship that might be worth fighting for. Only you can decide that. Aries, but I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you found this reading helpful, um, and I will uh, talk to you all next week. I'm sorry I've kind of been rambling here. Um, I wasn't sure I was even going to come on tonight, but uh, I thought, you know, I owe it to y'all, so um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel. My computer's trying to shut down, and we're going to end the reading right here. Bye, Aries!